Hey Doom fam, it's March 20th, or realist I should say. This is just a candid, off-the-cuff recording catching you up with some news and things happening in the world. It's a busy week. The IPCC report gets released today, something that nobody cares about, and the headlines are already reading the usual, you know, delay means death and inaction isn't a possibility. Meanwhile, Cleveland... Airport announces non-stop flights to Ireland, Dublin, somewhere else in Europe, and everybody's excited. Nobody gives a fuck about their future or their children, even though it's front page news and, you know, it's okay. Biden will save us techno-optimism. So that's exciting, right? Nobody cares. You know, I got a lot of new subscribers, like 10 of you little mir miracles, meat sauce miracles, uh, come to my channel you know, eventually we all return to the source. You are meat sauce returning to cinder soon. And uh, yeah, I got all of you guys from Do Not Watch, I assume, channel. Um, had a lovely chat, a live stream yesterday. Um, side note, that was fun. And yeah, had, had some interesting conversations. I can tell the crowd was a little bit older than I am, as it turns out, older, <clears throat> probably Gen X or thereabouts, maybe just don't really seem to get with the times that we are in exponential runaway climate change. Exponential change. That means it's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's like 5, 15, 30, 50, 100. It's exponential. Just imagine a curve, remember, from high school, from algebra? Exponential. That's the level of warming to the planet, the level of change um, that we're occurring to our planet. Humans are causing. Of course... Trump is, you know, planning to get arrested tomorrow, and that'll be a big hoorah moment, and who knows what else this week. Maybe a couple other banks will fail. We'll see. Um, but a quick funny little story. I was at a thrift store, uh, a wholesale store, I would say, and I bought some protein bars, some meat sauce bars, and some sunblock. The sunblock was $8. This was probably mm, 8 or $10. But then I found a book. It was like it, it it's like it called for me. Uh, Crisis and Disaster Counseling. I don't know if I can see that. Um, Lessons Learned from Hurricane Katrina and Other Disasters. And so basically it's an entire manual handbook with peer-reviewed sources on, you know, dealing with grief, how do we define care, um, and it's it's written and highlighted in. It's like somebody actually live through Hurricane Katrina, oh, um, or something else. I mean, it was like it found me, and I was like, wow, this book, this would be a great piece to do on my channel to go through it, and I've already bookmarked a few sections. You know, it's like something Beckwith would do. It's, it's good. It's already like 30 bucks. The front um, clerk, young African-American girl, it's like she knew I had a channel or something. I never remember speaking to her before in my life, but she gives me... All of this for $3. I said, are you sure? She says, yeah, is that too expensive? I was like, life amazes me sometimes. It really does. Like, it, it, it was like she was possessed. Like, she looked at me in, in the eyes, and, and she just, like, turned into something else and was like, yes, this is all $3. Pretty interesting. I'll get to that later. Busy week. I haven't even looked. The IPCC report hasn't actually been released at this minute. Um, and, you know, it's just hogwash garbage by countries trying to agree on terms who's the the big uh de debate over this report was who should be responsible for the most damages well <laughs> everybody and we continually you know uh business as usual in all the western countries i mean people who come new to this channel or just hearing about this they really don't understand the implications of global warming and climate change. Like, they really are just scared or in denial or 
uh, brainwashed, I mean, a whole multitude of reasons. They're just not clear-minded. They haven't actually just cleared their vision and thought, okay, what does the most relevant peer-reviewed literature say on this matter? People who study this for a living, how does that reply to real-world circumstances? Uh, billions of people without food and water, migrants all over the globe. I mean, real, no hyperbole, real apocalyptic shit. And that just, for some reason, like Gen Xers and people older than me, just like they've been so conditioned and things have been so good for them, they can't see otherwise. So it's true, it's mostly artists and like creative people or neurodivergent who are separated from the, the cultural uh, brainwashing of the brain dead morons. So I just wanted to go quickly through a few news articles because it is Monday morning. I haven't even finished my cup of coffee yet. Uh, Eurogreen News says a part as a quote for the I, I guess this is the IPCC lead says make no mistake inaction and delay are not options in regards to the latest IPCC report. Well, North Korea is launching missiles. Um, basically every day they simulated a full blown ICBM simulation attack. Billionaire co-founder of Home Depot compares the Fed to the gang that can't sh shoot straight and says the coming crash is going to be not going to be pretty. Chinese companies are sending rifles and body armor to Russia. We're basically in a, in a mini world war right now. Nobody cares about laid off meta employees. They trade them like trading cards. There's a giant underwater waves may affect the ability's ocean to store carbon. Underwater waves deep below the ocean surface, some as tall as 500 meters, play a role in how oceans store heat and carbon. However, new team led for, by the University of Cambridge and Oxford, note to you guys, have found that their importance is not being accurately reflected in climate models to, that inform government policy. You can best be sure it's not completely uh, implemented in the IPCC. And speaking of IPCC, just have a think, just published a, report, a new video, how we're doing on carbon removal. So in order to save ourselves, we have to actually remove the shit out of the sky. Okay, and guess what we're doing? We're not doing not nearly enough of that. We're not even on track for any targets, okay? Which means everything... Ugh, we're going to be feeling horrible by the end of this decade if we even make it. COVID might have came from a Wuhan market from raccoon dogs. Big Oil plans to artificially freeze the melting Arctic to drill more oil. So they're going to use thermosiphons to freeze melting permafrost. It's so counter, counter crazy because... It's melting because of climate change, but we, because of global warming, but we're drilling more to make it worse, to make the problem worse. It's that bad, guys. It's that bad. And and I just wanted to re reiterate this article one last time, leave you guys with some, on a happy note. I mean, do you have like no, an ounce of, in, of imagination, you know? Did you even go to school? Okay. Can you imagine what the global freshwater supply demand will global freshwater demand will outstrip supply by 40% by 2030? Okay, so there's a lot of wasteful water practices and we could have been desalinating water from the ocean, but we're not doing any of that. We haven't invested in that technology enough to make it efficient. Okay? It's mismanagement. And and again, I want to point back to this article, just the title alone. Okay, 40% less fresh water. How are we gonna where are people going to get water? How are we going to um, clean, get fruit? Like, there's so many problems. Vegetables and, and grow and power things like hydroelectric plant, like all of it. Just brain dead. Just absolutely brain dead masses. Um, I don't need to say much more about that. You know, clearly some people here actually just have their eyes open. Uh, most people are just dead ass asleep. Anyways, March 20th, got to get my day going. Um, should be a good week, eventful. And I'll get back on next time. Definitely, I'll have three videos planned. Read Crisis and Counseling book. Quickly review the next IPCC and go through some funny Doomer memes, because humor keeps this whole thing fresh. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and staying tuned to literally what's happening in your world. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.